We have a special guest today. She is an author, a research scientist at the WashU School of Medicine, and in my opinion, one of the smartest <laughs> ladies on the planet. And that is not just because she literally grew me in her tummy. 34 years ago. It's my mom, Catherine <laughs> Tristan. Well, thank you. <laughs> How do you do? How do you like that intro? I love it. I feel like I'm going to sizzle here. You're like, <laughs> okay, so you wrote a book. I did. What's your book about, mom? The book is about <laughs> overcoming worry and anxiety. Not that you contributed to any of that. I'm always stressed out. <laughs> but it's a, it's a simple, hands-on uh, approach to dealing with worry and anxiety. And the thing is, a lot of us suffer from that. And, and what I put in this was simple tools and also some science, how to rewire, re retrain our brains, and uh, so that anybody could read this and enjoy it and get something out of it. And one of the little tips about to help you not worry and stress out is to do something you like, which is for you, baking. So what are we making today? We are making a yummy cinnamon chocolate bread. Okay, what's in it? Okay, so it's got some of the usual ingredients of flour, butter, sugar, but some of the unusual ones are some buttermilk, and here's what makes it really good is the chocolate, Yum. and I like dark chocolate, uh, cinnamon, and then some cloves. And so that kind of gives it the punch and the difference. So you're gonna add the uh, dry ingredients, and I'm gonna add the wet ingredients. Right. Okay, so tell us, Miss Tristan, what can people do right now to stop worrying? Well, one of the easiest things you can do is to just simply listen to your to your uh, inner mind, which is usually on autopilot. You know, a lot of us are just focusing on what's wrong about life rather than what's right. And to really, to turn around your worries, you need to do the opposite. Focus on what's right and, and what you can be grateful for. That's one of the simplest things to do and one of the easy stress busters, too. Okay, so what do you hope people will get out of this book? What I'm hoping that they'll do is really to start listening in on how their mind is operating. Because we're all about can't do's and this won't happen, that won't happen. So it's a lot of negativities. And so the, the easiest thing to do is to remember that when you're worrying, it actually is a choice. It doesn't seem like a choice, but it is. Because you can either choose to go to the dark side and agree with worry, or you can decide to manage it and, and find better ways of dealing with it. But what if you lost your job or something? Are you saying don't worry about that? No, in fact, worry is a natural mechanism in the body. So you need to worry sometimes. It's actually good for you. If you've lost your job, maybe you need to figure out your finances. You need to uh, try to get some more education. There are a lot of things you might need to figure out and worry actually helps you uh, you know, recognize you've got a threat going on and find solutions. That's the good side of worry. Perfect. Okay, so for this recipe, we're adding the wet and dry together. Yes. And so you and Ed and I will this mix is the it up. flour and cocoa and the baking soda and all the different things like that and cinnamon. Perfect. And so what you would do is you put this in the pan and bake for how long? You'd bake it at 350 for 50 minutes. Perfect. All right then. You did a great job. Well, thank you. For a copy of today's recipe, head to the Show Me St. Louis page on KSDK.com. The book's called Why Worry? Stop Coping and Start Living. And you can meet my mom tomorrow. She's doing a book signing January 19th at the Barnes & Noble in Chesterfield from 1 p.m. to 2.30. For more info, head to whyworrybook.com.